in this video, we're going to explore ways to save and load model weights, and then also how to save the entire model and do something that's referred to as serializing a model. All right, so here we have some code that should hopefully feel familiar from previous tutorials. So we just have some basic imports and then we're loading the MNIST data set. Uh, and then what I've done here is that I've created three different models. They're all the same uh, model architecture, just using the different APIs. So the first model is using the sequential API, uh, which is two dense layers with 64 nodes and then 10 output nodes. And then similarly, model two is gonna create the same model just using the functional API. And then lastly, we're uh, do, doing it using subclassing. So let's first of all, just create an outline for what we're gonna do in this video. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to save and load model weights. And then secondly, I'm gonna show you how to um, save and load entire model. And uh, this is called serializing uh, model. So when we're saving and loading the entire model, it's going to be saved uh, as a data structure. And this means that it can be loaded on different TensorFlow frameworks like TensorFlow JavaScript, TensorFlow Lite. And so, for example, you could train a model on your PC and then let's say you want to uh, put it into production and create an app. Then you could just load that model that you previously trained and you don't have to do any conversion. And also additionally, so what this will do is that it will save the weights. Uh, it will also save the model architecture. So you don't have to actually have the code for the model. And then it's also going to save the training configuration. So this would be what you send into model.compile. Model and then lastly, it's also going to save the optimizer and states. So uh, for example, if you're using the atom optimizer, uh, it's going to keep track of the um, exponential weighted averages and that's internal to the optimizer. So for example, if you're just saving the weights, then the optimizer states are going to be reset every time you, uh, you load from uh, load the weights from the model. All right. So let's start with how to save and load the model weights. What you're going to do is after training. Uh, so let's do it after model evaluate. We're going to do model dot save weights, and then we're just going to specify a folder. Let's sa do saved model. And then if we now run this, so if we now open up that folder uh, where we're running the script and then inside that one, there's going to be another folder called save model. And then that's where the files are going to be that are saving the weights. And so what you would do now to just load the model is you would do model dot load weight and you would specify that folder. So save the model and then uh, you would just have to run that. And also, so after the first epoch previously, I think it was about 90% accuracy. And so what we can see now is that it's, it's uh, after one epoch, it's 97, meaning that it, it's actually loading the weights from, from previously. So one thing here to keep in mind is that you can't actually swap uh, and load the weights for the different implementations. So for example, if we run this uh, using model two, which is from the functional API, then it's gonna give an error saying that they aren't com uh, compatible. So a general rule here is that you need to load a model using this exact same way as you saved it. Uh, so there might be some workaround in that you can uh, uh, still load the weights if you've done a sequential or a functional API. And if you do know how to do that, then please leave a comment and uh, that might be helpful for some. But anyways, as a general rule, you need to load it exactly the way that you saved it. So if you created the model and saved the model using sequential, then when you're loading the model, it needs to be in, in that form as it was when you saved it. Now, uh, there are also uh, some different formats that you can use when uh, saving the model. So for example, I think there's a, uh, you could do, specify, I think it's a save, for, save format. You could specify different like H5. So there are two different ways, formats that TensorFlow saves it. Uh, it's uh, in the TensorFlow default format and then it's HD, H HDF5 format. And uh, the HDF5 format was what they previously used in TensorFlow 1. And then since TensorFlow 2, they've used, uh, I guess, TensorFlow default saving format. So uh, yeah, you could check out the, the, the official documentation for how to save and load using that specific file format. I'm just going to show you how to do it in the, the, uh, in the default one. 
So for the second thing, when we want to actually save and load the entire model and, and serialize the model. So what we, we're going to do is uh, model.save and then we're just going to do, uh, we're going to do complete saved model or something like that. And it's going to save it inside of that folder. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get this error, this warning, uh, and that's from TensorFlow backend. So that's, there's nothing you can do about this. Uh, if you do get it, then just ignore it. Uh, there's, from my understanding, there's nothing that we're doing wrong. And this should hopefully be fixed in a future version. But anyways, you're saving the model here. And, and now what you're going to do is you can actually remove this entirely. So you can remove the model.compile and you can specify just model equals uh, keras.models.load model and then we're just going to specify that directory complete saved model all right so that's going to save the uh, load the entire architecture so what you could also do here is that you could remove uh, so you could remove the code for the model that you're uh, now loading from and that's going to be also done inside of this uh, load model and then it's going to also load the training configuration so the model.compile that's why we could remove that part and now if we just uh, just rerun this, we can see that it's continuing training at that point. And then uh, we're getting this error again because it's uh, saving the model. And this works uh, regardless of using uh, sequential, functional, or subclassing. Uh, and there, so previously when you saved as default in the HDF5 file format, you had to do some, I guess, some knowing things and you had to create a define get config function here and you would also need to create one uh, from a config file uh, but in the new format you don't have to do that so uh, if you're using the old format I'm gonna uh, refer you to the official documentation for how you would do that but uh, this is how you save and load models both the weights and then the serialized model version using tensorflow from tensorflow 2 and, and up Hopefully this video was useful. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.